if you watching enjoy it, uh, if you watching <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of the Q&A series where we continue answering, answering your questions. Right, uh, just a reminder, we haven't had a name for this series yet, so please comment, uh, update us what you think we should name this series. We are Propnex, Singapore's top HDD transactor. What this means is we've been helping a lot of HDD upgraders move on to bigger properties, move on to private properties and this video of course is sponsored by Hero Homes so if you want to upgrade to a bigger property, alright, reach out to us Okay, now let's get on with the series He or she is 35 years old, single, 4k income Is it advisable for this person to buy a new launch condo, 1 bedroom or a 2 bedroom? So as long as uh, he's a he or she is able to make the 5% cash deposit, 20% CPF and 3% stamp duty, yes, advisable If he's coming from an investment point of view Okay, so it depends on your budget. I prefer if you can go for a two bedder, lah, right? Uh, so at least you can have a couple with one kid. Can I keep my HDB and buy a condo? I want two properties. Short answer is can. You can keep your HDB and buy a condo. Long answer is but you have to first meet your MOP of your HDB. Alright, don't forget you also have to pay the ABSD. Alright, don't forget your LTV, loan to value drops. Okay, there's a lot of acronyms to remember, but the best thing is don't DIY. Okay, talk to an agent to help you plan your second property purchase. Okay, I'm 20 years old but don't know how to save up for buying a house. Saving up is as easy as uh, not spending your income. At 20 years old, I would assume your income, your, your expenses are quite minimal. So if you have any income, please set aside 20 to 40% if you can. And if you can read up a little, a little bit more about investments, you know, just start a little bit off with, I don't know, maybe the basic stuff like ETFs, uh, some other low risk investments. My advice is uh, if you get your pay salary, pay yourself first ah. before paying anybody. This, this is very good. Sign a letter of exclusivity with an agent to sell my property. Can we change agent? Is there any expiry? So exclusives will uh, self expire in three months. That means if you don't do anything, after three months, auto expire. But best to actually talk with your agent, you know, what's wrong? Why didn't your property sell? Mm. Did he, you know, uh, put it on property guru, for example? Why are you not happy with the person? Really, if client is not happy with us, likely we also don't want to work with client. Lah. So yeah. it's best to have open communication. Talk first, lah. Ah, Sorry. Talk gentlemen. First. Ah. Is the cheapest new condo in the market right now? Jovel. Yeah, we both agree that Jovel is the cheapest new launch in the market right now. Park Central at Tempinis, it's uh, 1.25 million for a 3 bedder, 1,000 square feet, for example. So Jovel, you can buy something, a uh, 3 bedder, at 1.08. Remember, EC has restrictions. Private mm. property has no restrictions. Same price, which one would you go for? CDL project, Jovel. Same, agree. <laughs> so if you enjoyed watching this series, uh, we also have a brand new series coming up. It's called Grounded. It's about... It's, it features uh, real people, real homes, uh, real challenges. Right? Uh, basically, we were inspired by so many videos online where homeowners are showcased uh, of how they moved in, renovation, their, their, their lifestyle in their new homes. And we want to start one for our community as well. So if you have anyone that you can suggest, again, reach out to us. We will reach out to them and we will showcase them. So we own an EC, can we decouple and buy another condo? Decouple means two owners, one owner is pulling out of the property. For example, wife is the owner, she must undertake the entire house loan balance. Then the husband can go out happy happy go shopping for another property. Straightforward, yes, you can decouple. A lot of uh, our private property owners purchase their properties with the objective to decouple down the road. Average client's income who buy condo, 8 to 12K. So I want to use my cash proceeds for my down payment for EC condo. Mm. Only option is resale EC or condo? No, not true. You have a lot more options. Uh, in fact, the option that you choose should not be dependent on the cash proceeds of your sales. Okay, it should be dependent on your retirement planning through your property. What kind of condo can I upgrade to from a HDB forum flat? So it's not dependent on where you are upgrading from, four room or three room. It really depends on your earnings, your income and your CPF balances. So, <laughs> Kenapa aku buat kan? Tahu tahu. Okay. Okay, okay, no problem. Can we upgrade to a condo without cash top up? Yes, we usually see our clients who have incomes of 8k and above. They don't need to do cash top ups, alright? But we highly encourage to do cash top up because we want them to target to have a fully paid property by the ages of 55, 56, 60. Right? You know that you can have a fully paid million dollar property within your lifetime. Possible to upgrade and pay same monthly mortgage like my current property? Yes, yes, yes. It is possible to upgrade and pay the same mortgage, alright? Even to a condo. Uh, it all depends on how much 
cash and CPF savings you have that you can pump into your next property to bring down the loan for your condo. Alright, but we actually highly recommend a different method. It's going to be very complicated to explain now. So, <coughs> so maybe uh, in future we'll do a video on how you can actually purchase a condo with no cash top up. Alright, so that wraps up all the questions that we've received from everyone on IG and WhatsApp. Okay, so if you have more questions, do look out for our next series or just pump in your questions on our, on our IG. Uh, and again, we want to know what you should name this series. We really have no idea. Please help. Uh. We are not right. so... Yeah. Right. Okay. Thanks for watching.